All right. Yeah. Uh, we're recording now. So we can do initiative, or I can have it attack you back. There's a, there are only two damn freaking monsters left. So who else uh, has a free attack? Can I have a free attack. Right? Yeah. And boom. And then it'll be initiative once you, if you're gonna go into the melee. Yeah. Hey, you're actually in range to get my bonus. Oh, nice. <laughs> Would you look at that? By the way, that green creature thing is coming yeah, closer it. to us. Oh, I see it. Hmm. How lovely. What the hell? Wait, is this, rolls. is this correct? Wait, let me see my, my roll. Plus... Did you... I don't think you... No, you attacked with the Blade of the Black Shields. You didn't attack with your... Uh, I don't think you attacked with your F-Off Chainsword, did you? No. Hold on. Wait, actually, no, this is correct. No, I just got a very oh. bad roll. <laughs> I can add yep. a plus 10 damage to it, so it's 38 with a pen of 10. So All is that... that the right value, then? Yeah, it is. I just rolled very poorly. As you can see, I rolled 1, 2, and a 3 for my damages. If you hover okay. over the damage. Uh, Tom, is this roll initiative then? Yep. That's, yep. So you did 28 damage? Uh, I did, did 38. 38. I'm going to add the plus 10 bonus from the possibility shield to do 38 damage with a pen of 10 because I have 7 degrees of success. More than 2. Oh, and a pen of 10? Okay, hold on, let me see. Since they have maximized, have the same. Eight, eight would get you, doesn't it? Got it. Okay. Oh, I don't have the... I'm back with a mess. I oh, rolled poorly. Uh, Tess had to leave. And Tess had to leave. Oh, no, I was I was here for that. But I, mm -hmm. I left to go get coffee right there. All right. Okay, so that's everyone's surprise round. Oh. Are we rolling initiative? Yes, or is it yeah. just for everybody in the other room? Oh, it's initiative. Because there's uh, one, two, three monsters within view, and this is going to be a combat thing. So. I mean, I'm in a different room from them. Am I still... I don't think oh, so. it's talking. It's it's talking to you. It's, and uh, his characters are shooting, but you guys can more than welcome to be part of the initiative and be a component of combat if you want to go into combat. Right. I don't know if you want to deal with that at all, but I am going to do something. Okay. So I have the ability to use one of my faith powers as if it were burned without burning a faith point. I also have the ability to use a different kind of faith power that I wouldn't normally be able to use for free. So I'm going to combine both of those and use that free faith power as a full burn. Okay. And now me and all of these other dudes have unnatural agility times three. Okay. Hopefully that helps you. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Does that just affect our movement speed and our initiative bonus? Uh, it would affect anything that affects agility. So go, yeah. So their their initiative will be yours, yellow dog. So. Right, but I'm saying if it like only affects the uh, the bonus, because there's not that many things that affect the bonus. Well, giving you a natural strength times three would kind of be silly now, wouldn't it? I could do that. Uh, I, no, actually, I don't know how that would work. Actually, that would benefit those guys better, because uh, with the force weapons, uh, that would make their uh, an additional damage bonus even higher. The strength? Yeah, because remember, we get like uh, the times three, our bonus to uh, strength damage and melee weapons. Yeah, so if that's... I get like another three, that's times six my Yeah, that that's the question. Does it set it to three or does it tack on another three? 
Because if it tacks on another three, my it's, uh, uh, I would imagine it tacks on another three, like in addition to what they already uh, have. So hold on. Uh, standard. Uh, so what does it say exactly in your thing, Moff? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find. It's a, because, like, uh, normal strength bonus is double. I can set them all into a frenzy. If it's three, it's just plus one. So if it's plus one, then it will be, like, times four and not times six. Right. So. Right, but if he's able to increase it by three. I don't think he can, but we'll see. Yeah. I mean, you, can keep, you can keep stacking them. As long as you're able to get access to whatever it is that increases it, you can keep, keep stacking it. Maybe. So, Moth, when you look at this thing, you see that that big creature itself has like eight of those cannons. That's oh. what that looks like. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> just so you know, just so you're aware of what you're up against. And it has tons of just, just so you're aware, you're trying to have a warp entity demon make a deal with uh, an Adeptus Auroritas. Yes, it's not that, happening. They, just use that famous diplomatic memes that all sisters of battle are known for. Mm -hmm. Get fucked, heretic, <laughs> die, burn, burn, burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It it works always. I mean, some of them got converted to slash side, so you know. Diplomacy kind of works. Wink wink. You're oh, I can it. make us blind to this problem so we can't see it and just <laughs> ignore its existence. Wait, what? Good. Yeah, let's do I can make us feel super guilty about it too. Great. <laughs> I can also turn myself into a flashlight. Amazing. Hell yeah. These all sound like very useful things in this particular situation. Oh, wait, unnatural toughness. That might be useful here. Yeah, perhaps. Not against void weaponry. Did everyone roll initiative? Fair point. Yeah, the monsters did. I think everyone's on the table. So let me. So it's going to be Brasora. You can go first. I didn't even roll initiative. What? Oh. You were probably here. on there from the last. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last roll you made. I'm. I'm still looking through the. Um... I can't find the one that gives natural strength, apparently. Maybe there wasn't one that gives a natural strength, and I'm just thinking something else. Oh, wait, no, here it is. God damn it. Uh -huh. It says... It says specifically, all those affected gain unnatural strength in parentheses times two trait as their muscles harden. I don't know if you would consider that gaining an extra two on top of the uh, ones they already have. I would yeah. imagine it's gaining I'm, an extra two because you're I'm enhancing gonna some. Yep, I'm going to give it to you. They guys also are... have their agility bonus reduced by two for the duration. But you boosted that too, didn't you? No, I can only boost uh, one of the other. It's, un it's agility or strength. I could also go into a complete and utter soul storm and just wreck all the psychers around me and demons, but I don't think dealing 1d10 energy damage that bypasses armor and toughness is going to do anything to this Hulk. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. And also, if I do that, I pass out. Ah. I mean, for 24 there... hours. There is the option I have, like what I dealt with the last entity, and just push the limits with uh, that ring of psychers around you. If you get away from those psychers, you might not get the effects of the table. She's got nowhere to run. Vent? I mean, half my She's idea make it was through... to. A giant monster and like twenty other uh, little demons. Oh, uh, I, I, to make it to the vent. Oh, I, I just I don't see where it stands. Yeah, no, the entire room that we were in is filled. Yeah, littered. And half of the room is now a monster. Okay. Yeah, and then of course the other exit is uh, covered in ooze. She has a jetpack. I can fly over that. Yeah. She does have a jetpack. 
that was my plan. I was just going to fly out through the other holes we made back to the Volta line. If we, you could do that, and then I can do the the unleash, push the limits, unleash everything, uh, and do that giant psyker bolt thing again against them. Yeah. Then we have nobody to watch the melt bomb now. Yeah. Ah, you know, whatever. But, <laughs> uh, but your character might survive. Who knows? These are just options. So, do you want the unnatural strength? Is that going to help you at all doing that? Uh, with the unnatural strength, I'll be doing an extra 28 damage on my melee attacks. You also have your amulet, too. Uh, well, the amulet is currently with Heraclades. Yeah. No, I know and that. Heraclades is not with her. Yep. You can run back and throw the amulet through the, through the vent <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> right, but there's this blue ooze stuff that I, you know, theoretically is probably needed for. Yeah. I can incre I can give you a damage boost in melee of two d ten. Yeah, 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 peep, I'll be fine. Right. Hmm. Plus, your first hits in melee will do uh, righteous fury on a nine or a ten. Oh shit. Um. That might that may be good. Be good. I mean I only I roll one D ten. I'm adding two D ten to it. So it's three D ten, but righteous free on a nine or a ten. Or if you give me that enhanced strength, I'm just adding eighteen to all the damage. Okay, hear me out. There's something else I can do that's a little crazy. I can make everyone in this room that's an ally frenzied, and while they're frenzied, every kill they get heals 1d5 wounds. For whom? Uh, All my libraries. Oh. Frenzied, uh, they will not be able to use their abilities, but they will get plus 10 to strength, uh, toughness checks. Yeah, so it's probably a bad idea to frenzy the Psychers. But no, actually, I think it just gives you plus yeah. 10 to toughness flat. So, yeah. So either the enhanced strength or that uh, Righteous Fury thing with two extra d10s. Uh, the enhanced strength is consistent, but the other one could be explosive. You have, what, seven or six people? Six. Six guys. Two of them are on the crit charts, but everyone else is basically healthy. Six guys attacking with sticks is, is very scary, you know. It's... Well, they're, they're psychic-empowered sticks, so I also get that. Yeah. Uh, for every success on that uh, willpower check that I make uh, with them, that's an extra d10 in damage that I get that onto it. So yeah, 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 no, do the, the 2d10 one and Righteous Fury on 9s and 10s. Alrighty. Because that can, that can go pretty huge pretty fast. Keep in mind, the uh, Righteous Fury on 9 to 10 is just on the first Righteous Fury. Not on any subsequent ones from that one. Okay, I mean that's still good though. So, yeah. uh, uh, and, and uh, is that uh, sorry? So is that two D ten just on the first one? No, the two D ten is every time you hit with a melee weapon, you deal okay. an extra two D ten damage on top of whatever else you have. Uh, I think that's still okay. Uh, because that's two D ten extra on top of my other stuff, and being able to righteous fury. Or have a higher chance of righteous furying on the first hit is still better, I think, than just a flat extra fourteen damage. Uh, it's so a, yeah, it's a first hit un until righteous fury, or just first hit flat. So the first hit gets the righteous fury on nines and tens. Okay. If okay. I do righteous fury, then it's just on tens. But that's just for the round. For the next round, it happens again. Oh, this this happens for the rest of the combat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, every round, the first hit I do of each of my guys, Righteous Fury is on 9s and 10s. And you can only do one attack per round, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can also, that... uh, in melee combat, you can make an all-out attack, which gives you plus 20 weapon uh, skill. And it cannot be parried, I think. No, wait, no, it can be parried, uh, but it... Uh, what was it? The... 
it didn't do. Uh, like you cannot dodge or parry until the start of the next turn. There you go. So, yeah. So oh, nice. there's there's a real easy thing we could do to beat this big monster in this ring then. Everybody in this room jumps on top of it. It yeah. can't shoot us with its void rifles if we're on it, right? Uh, it's not that insane. It might be. It, it might be. <laughs> well, then it'd just be damaging itself along with killing us, so... I was say, if we want to do a lot of damage, then I would just do uh, that push-the-limit roll on a psychic blast. And it also has tentacles. Just so you know, our tentacles. Sorry. Tentacles. Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying. Like, I can do, I can do a lot of damage with uh, the pushing the limit, but I will have to roll on the chart. And people for might uh, six if... guys, for six guys. Mark, you may, you may want to do your plan: retreat and let you guys eat themselves. Yeah, I'm just trying to give them a boost so they don't immediately die and can actually do something. I love to bless their weapons, which would do crazy damage, but they take 1d5 energy damage holding the weapons. So that's pointless. Yeah, they're psychers. Well, they can ta tank it right now. It's a suicide mission right now. Uh, no, I mean, just give them the other thing and then just run. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Wrath of the Righteous. Rar. Rar. So, in case Boca wasn't here and didn't doesn't know what I'm talking about there, um, all of the psychers, now every time they hit with a melee weapon, they deal an extra 2d10 damage, and their first Righteous Fury is procced on a 9 or 10. Nice. Okay, now rapidly get out of there. Okay, what's my movement speed again? One billion. Thirty. I'm assuming you guys are still flying even at the end of your movement, yes. right? Over here. Okay, and then the Baron. Uh, okay, I don't have control over his character. What do you want him to do? Uh, he has no weapons. You want to make him back up? Didn't he have a bolter as well? Uh, yeah. Let me see the guys. I think he has a bolter, and he's got that claw arm. Yeah. He, had, he doesn't have a good uh, weapon skill. Not like, oh, that good. But he, oh, he... I'll, I'll control him. I'll control him. Okay. And he does. He shoots at that monster. Does no damage. You can shoot twice with. If you're doing full auto, you can do like three attacks. If you're doing semi-auto, I think it's two, right? Actually no, it it he's using those uh those bolters you gave him, right? Okay, so it does go through. Yeah, he has like the special ammunition. Yeah. Yeah, it's dead. Boop. Okay. And then he went okay, it's the end of me. So moth I'm going to sneak into that cube first, before I, before I do anything else. It does not attack. But it will attack the main guys. Misses. That ooze, I think that ooze. I think that ooze can't do anything. Oh wait, it does not have a. 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be, well, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be 20, not <laughs> zero. <laughs> it's not zero. But it would still but, but it still fail anyways. Right. And that came from the west or north? Uh, see that green thing behind you? Behind me? Or, like, south side? The green one. You just see... Oh, on the west side, got it. You just see shit coming at you. So, you see... I'm looking oh. north, so... <clears throat> oh, okay. I oh, think one hit? Yes. One connected? One connected? I'll yeah. dodge that. Modifier? Uh, minus ten. So it's gonna hit for eighteen. And that's disguise. For... That's disguise. Make a better roll. You're not a goop. No matter yeah, how hard you try, you can't be a goop. That's right. disguise. What I yep. clicked on dodge. Okay. Very nice. That's not what uh. That's not what roll twenty says. Yeah, it's a better roll. Twenty five. What do I have? That's twenty five. Okay, so you dodge it, cool. Well, you're probably not trained in that skill, thus you're rolling it half. Yeah. Or it's 1d3. Sorry, gotcha. 1D3. Okay, and then Karnoff, you're going to attack. Oh, it's fellowship, gotcha, that makes sense. Two, and you're going to attack by the blue one. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, okay, I'll back up and protect the tech marine with my body. Okay, so that miss like one two. Uh, actually, no. can I can I use the like the, the barrels which are to the left of me as an impromptu shield? Yes. Um. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna make you do this. Go ahead, roll one d six, and that's what the tar that's the target that's gonna be that's about to be attacked. Number one, top right. <laughs> Librarian number one. Actually, because I've rotated it so much, uh, I believe that one actually is the bottom left. So it it hit him. <laughs> Hold on, I can dodge. Oh, geez. I can dodge. Or can I you? Forgot how. And he I... does. And he can. Okay. So roll for the next guy that's about to be hit attacked. Well, you gotta roll the hit first. Well, I mean, tell me which guy's gonna be. Oh, you. okay. Yeah. Oh no, he misses. You're right. Just wildly, actually. In fact, was that a ninety-eight? In fact, he, in fact, he murders himself so, with it. He shoots himself in the head. <gasps> so no, what you see is. It explodes. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. I'm a big scary demon entity. No, no. <laughs> oh, so... no, Ansius gets his revenge for being possessed and he causes his the guy's thing to explode in his own arm and he just stuffs it and dies. Yeah. He does not die. He does not kill him, I just promise you. Um... God damn it. So, you guys are going to be taking 25 damage from this. Because one of those void weapons exploded. Does half damage, range. What's the range, and where is the middle of the entity? Because uh, it does depend. I might be out of range, I might be in range. So, it's the head. So, the, so it's 100, the range is 100 meters. Damn. Just shy. Right, so... If you make a dodge check, you will be at the you edge. Make, you make, you make yeah. dodge rolls to, to half the damage. And then make it 12, rather than a full 25 to the face. So yeah, Mike, make all your guys do that. Do what? Well, the that weapon exploded on its face and you guys are about to eat 25 damage. Right. So they can dodge it to reduce it by half. Okay. And be 12 damage rather than, you know, 25 damage. 
Wait, do they all have uh, possibility shields? Yes, they do. They oh, add yeah. plus five times their uh, psi rating to dodge That's and period tests. Hell yeah. Excellent. So they don't take they don't take asshole damage to themselves then. Super Sora, did you dodge? Uh, yep. Yep. I was just making sure I waited for all the other ones to go. All right. So that was weapon number what two? Yes. Okay. Now there's six more of these. So Did, doesn't it deal damage to himself or the other weapons? Three. No, it just explodes. Uh. Yeah, it just explodes. It doesn't do damage. It just explodes. It 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 hurts itself, but not as you see. What so. what about all the other things around them? What about oh, all, all the dead. other demons? Oh. I'm not gonna delete all of them. They're all dead. Okay, good. So they all dropped dead. So I can. It disrupted his focus, so they all just dropped. Oh, right. So we did we just take 25, no, Four. 12 damage, 12.5 damage? Uh, just 12 damage. With 30 Five. pen? Ouch. Yep. Yep. Five. This would be weapon number six. Weapon number seven. Look at them go. Holy moly. Yeah, I know. This is, this is why the team was selected for this mission. And that one is 89. It just misses. That was the weapon number seven. This is the last one. Arfully Get wrecked. He artfully dodges that one. <laughs> okay, uh, Karnoth, go. Yeah, as I said, uh, I move back and uh, protect the Tech Marine from further damage, and I would like to pick up a barrow next to me and use it as a impromptu cover slash shield. Sure. And just place it in front of me. Yep, you just do that. Uh armor of like five. Okay. In case. So that's all you can do? I'm gonna that, that that's what oh, yeah, I'm gonna do, yep. yep. Mingus go. What's the blue stuff right here? Oh so uh, it is also acid, like the other one. It looks just slightly different than the others. So like, can we shoot it? We can't shoot it or the blue it's like the blue blob, the other one. The other blue blob you killed? I had gotten rid of the other blue bulb with my psychic powder, so right. So you can you might be able to shoot it. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, but we do have one more guy at up north, so I'll take a shot there. Let's see how far is that. Quite far. Yikes. Uh, it's up to you. You want to help at the front? Push into the reactor room, or do you want to deal with that one lone monster? I'm gonna do a free move. And that's the half move or full move? I can't remember. Full move. Full move, so 16. I'm just going to go south, southwards. So we'll go right here. And they're kind of in the way. Yep. And there's a door there. You'd have to go up and push the button. Right. I'll just make sure we cover our flanks. Yep. Uh, that's close to 100. Yep. I'm going to use the... Uh, Bolter with select fire to, with against, uh, against uh, this guy up north. Oh, okay. With the side, side cannon rounds. Okay. Modifiers? Uh, is that half range or not? No, that's full range. Okay. So, zero. Nothing. All right. Then it'll be well, plus 20. And you could add a plus 10 for possibility shield. If and if it's to. big, oh, yeah, yeah. if it's hulking, it's another plus 10. Alright, then plus 30. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can use the macro I give you, by the way. But all right. That's it. Yeah, I haven't set that up just yet. It's alright. Does any of you guys have flying, by chance? Who? Oh, you have a jetpack, don't you? 
I do. Thorn up does. Ma 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 right does. Yes. Yeah. I'll be someone, right has, back. someone has to open the door. The door's shut and the ooze is on the ground. Hey, hey, it's my turn. Yeah, I know. Go, Eric, ladies. All right. So, I'm going to move my free 10. Because, you know, squad mode bonuses that we're totally still using. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to move there, and then I'm going to basically uh, do the the maw thing again, unfettered. Where are you shooting at? Uh, the ooze. That, the, the same thing I did in this room, but I'm going to do it that ooze. You see it on the ground. You don't yeah. see that, that amorphous blob you saw before. Can you see it through that door? There should be a door that's shut. But you just said there was a thing that was right here. We see the ooze on the ground, right? You see the ooze on the ground. You don't, hold up, I'll show you. You don't see the center of the ooze. All right, that's fine. I'm going to center my thing on the door. Oh, okay. And then uh, just, just do my thing. And it is unfettered. So it's going to hey, be what, what's the range? 25 again? Yeah, it's 25 meters. Okay, so you'll hit then. I'm going to uh, use my last fate point and reroll that. Oh, still failed. Oh, cool. And 100. So I, ha I have to roll on the table now. Uh, I can give you my fate point. Mr. Yes, um... please. <laughs> hey, there we go. Nice. Was that not 100? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. It got fate points. Yeah. Yeah. I was almost excited to see what would have happened. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been nothing, right? Well, if I had rolled 75 or less... Or less than 75, it would have just been one single result because I became sanctioned. Um, so I don't like randomly roll unless it's higher than 75% on that chart. Anyway, that is. Whoop, that's not that. It's not that. <laughs> that's right. That's literally not enough to kill the thing. Yeah, it's, it's not that. It's that. God, I rolled so badly with that. Oh my god. It's dead. Thank good. Well, it is double that, because it's this turn and on its turn it would happen. So, cool. Right, but it's, it's dead. It only has um, 20 health. Tech Marine, get up there and do your magic. Not my magic, but your magic. <laughs> yeah, you guys, and then are you guys going to move your main squad there? The oh, so right. Your... Um... They're gonna do their free ten, ten. Uh, they have, they're in their own squad. They're gonna do ten foot movement. Okay. They they would get a squad bonus too since they are technically a their own squad. Cool. And then they're gonna use another half action move. Cool. And then. They're going to push the limit, psychic blast this guy. All right. I have to see what kind of damage they can deal out. Uh, well, the last time we did it, uh, because I pushed the limit, it was a uh, 3d10 for every degree of success. Whereas when I was doing it fettered, it was just 1d10 for every degree of success. And yep. when I unfettered it, it was 2d10. So 3d10 for each one. But I got to actually hit. And regardless of... Plus 60. Hit hit the thing. Plus 60? Nice. Oh, yeah. They're fucking huge. Uh, plus my other amount that I normally get, which is... Cool. 88. Right, so that... Well, it's 6. Still 5.8 degrees. Well, I would have to roll on the table regardless, even if it was a double, because I'm pushing my limit. Yeah. Um... So that six times three is eighteen. Eighteen d10s. Okay. Oh, hey, look, a righteous fury. Yeah, just give me the damage. Uh, and that. several. Oh, right, because I can't fail with it. Oh, hey, look, another righteous fury, and another, and another, and another. Oh, it actually stopped. Oh, jeez. Let me count. Oh, no! <laughs> that might not be good. 
Just give me the damage total, please. And I'll add okay. I'll it to the big monster. I'm yeah, doing yeah. that. God damn it, it didn't. Three plus eight. It's a little under 600. 578. Right? Yeah, I, really, I know, it's only like one third of its health. If that. One, one tenth. But yeah. One tenth of its health. Oh my cool. god. <sighs> it could have been great. It, it could have been amazing. <laughs> but it Dude, wasn't. Yeah, I'm gonna roll. Oh, that's actually good. Yeah, that's oh, great. Uh, no, there's not going to be any uh, any crazy charts, so that's good. Uh, I just gotta here's the materials. All right. Are you keep doing so, if they live, say again. Are you gonna keep doing unfettered if they live next round? I'm gonna keep pushing the limit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 100. percent I'm gonna keep pushing the limit. Push it to the limit. Um. Because there's no other way I'm going to be doing like you know 100 damage or 500 damage a turn nope. without doing it. Uh, so five uh, for a few seconds, all noises cause sinister echoes. Cool. Uh, 58. This one will actually probably do something. Falling upwards, everything within 2d10 meters of the psyker, including the psyker, raises 1d10 meters into the air as gravity briefly ceases. After a second or two, everything crashes back to earth uh, for falling damage. Um, okay, here's, uh, let's see how many meters. For 11 meters. But, during that second or two, 29 is going to happen. Veil of Darkness. Everything within 3d10 meters is blanketed in darkness that nothing can see through. Not Not sure void entities. Nice. Not oh, even void entities. <laughs> uh, that might have been actually kind of good. And basically the remainder of the round. So, you know, next turn it'll kind of dissipate. Or maybe right. next turn at the top of my round it'll dissipate. Who knows? Um, what was oh, yeah. that? 29? Yeah. Number 62. The Banshee Howl. Uh, every creature that's able to hear it, unfortunately that's probably going to be the sister, yeah. uh, must make a challenging zero toughness test. Uh, or be deafened for 1d10 rounds. Uh, I'm not going to make those rolls yet. Uh, 20... Nice. 26. Uh, well, okay, for for 1d10 rounds, so you're, you're deaf for 8 rounds. Uh, what is it? 26, 26. Uh, a Haunting Breeze. Um... Winds whip up around the Psyker for a few seconds, blowing light objects and uh, about and guttering fires within 3D team. Okay, cool. So spooky winds happen. Uh, and then one. Uh, a faint breeze blows past the Psyker. <laughs> those near him. And everyone gets uh, the feeling that doom is about to befall them. What? Which includes the Void Entity. Bef befall on the, on as they're falling? I like how the spooky winds happened as it's blinded and nobody can see it. Yeah. <laughs> and a feeling of dread. Oh. Uh, but yeah, now everybody falls 11 meters. Uh, oh, uh, hang on. What's the, the range on that? Uh, oh, don't worry. I'm on a jetpack anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, everyone within 11 meters yeah, rises 1d10 meters. So everybody rises 7 meters and then falls 7 meters. So, so the 11 plus 7, 18 meters in the air? No, 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 no. It's everyone 11 meters from the guy that did it, which was number... Okay. Uh, number, number two. Three. Yeah, yeah, correct. So, that so one. pretty much... So just my guys. Yeah, and and the other entity, because we're, we're his claws touching me. I mean, he's yep. pretty big. He's a yeah, This, yeah. this yeah, claw is within 11 big. meters, so it goes up. His hand gets raised, and he's like, oh, no. Oh, oh, hey. oh, no. Yeah, but otherwise, everyone falls 11 meters, or 7 meters, 7 meters, but, I mean... You're Space Marines. We're you're Space Marines. Armor. Did you want to I... destroy any of his weapons on his face, doing all this stuff? Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will hold off on one more round until the sister can further flee 
Yes, please. And then the next round, yes, I will destroy as many weapons as I can on his face. Now, granted, these guys may not survive another round, but... But... But we'll see. Uh, and that was them. That was my turn. All right, yeah, uh, Basara, go. All right, as a full, as part of a full round move, I can make a full round of attacks. So hooray! As I retreat, I shoot the damn thing too. Go for it. Oh, nice. It has, it has thirty armor like the other mechanoids. Or twenty eight. It's yeah, it's twenty eight. Sorry, twenty eight, not thirty. And just remember, five hundred and something damage was only one tenth of its health. Yep. Yeah, I know it's not going to do much, but it's going to do something. I figure I'd let you know. Like, whatever. Just but you can do, like, a full run and that, or... Yeah, I could do this as part of a full move, running. Oh, so not running. Okay. No, no, as part of running, I, I can make a full move and still a, attack a normally. A full move is not a run. Oh. No, you're right. You're right. Okay. Never mind then. Yeah. I just run. Okay. I guess I... Does he get, like, what, 120 meters with a uh, full run of that backpack? Oh, yeah, the jetpack would increase my speed, wouldn't it? By double. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I get 60 away, then. Yes. I was Sweet. here. Sixty. So, that puts you... Right there. Right through this it... door over there. Still see that door sealed. But you know you can blast through it, so possibly. Okay, Neil Tyron goes. Uh are we, I don't think we're still in combat. I don't think there's anyone near Oh actually there's someone on the top. There is still in combat. What are you talking about the other team's in combat. Oh you guys are not in combat. Um Yeah. Yeah, he'll just he'll just move forward. We are. You are. The other the other squad's in combat, so oh. Okay, now it's the entity's turn. He has seven of these. I'll just I'll just do seven. Just roll them all, and then I'll roll my dodges. After it, let me uh, do this, and you can roll your dodges. Uh-oh, looks like one of them blew up. No, it's 92, it's 95. Oh, that is a four. four. So close. Let's see. One, two, two hits, three, five, five weapons. Five. Okay. Let's So only three dodge rolls. Cool. Oh. Oh. Jesus. They are, they are rocking it. It is their finest hour, and their final hour. True. Hey, then... Quite literally. Right, okay, uh, so the ooze. The ooze doesn't have to do this. Yep, you're still in range. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Okay. It's gonna fire twice at you, and it's gonna fire once at Moth. So Moth oh. is. This is coming to you. Yeah, it can, it can fire three times. So. You guys gonna dodge it? No, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take it. Yeah, I'm gonna dodge. Come on. Motor right. fire? No. It'd be plus zero. Ooh. Hey, you. you I'm gonna fade point that. Array medic, fade point. Okay. 
Holy crap. Fuck. Oh my god, no, Brasora. <laughs> You're gonna take 30 with a pin of 10. I don't think she can take 30 <laughs> with a pin of 10. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, medic's out of fate points, by the way. Oh no. Does anyone have any fate points left? No. I've no. got one, and I'm not gonna burn it. Unless you want to give my entire librarian squad fate points. Probably a bad idea, that. Because that's 18 uh, fate points that I have untapped. Yes. Yeah. Sweet! Yes. Burn one. Oh my okay, god. Cool. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Alright, burn another. I'll burn another. <laughs> there we go. Hey, I got 16 fake points left, boys. Tell me when you need them. <laughs> oh God damn. God. Hey, this big old boss fight, I threw it at you guys. I think that's more than fair. All right, Karnoth, go. Uh, I mean, uh, let's see. The, the reactor room is... 40. Still yeah, it's going to be in this area. So. And the door, you just have to come up and push the button. So, uh, Thomas, uh, the tech marine would have been able to get to, like, at least to here. Or, sure. okay. uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Because if he spent his entire turn running, he wouldn't yeah. be able to get to there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is right, it? 60, I, I have. Go. Let's see. I always forget, sorry. Uh ba 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 very yeah, so I'll just run up to the door, just do nothing because I I don't want to open the door and encounter nothing. Or actually is pressing a button a free action? Yes. Then I'll just open the door, yeah. Because uh we did uh, you know uh, Reclides cleared the room with his rending maw. So yep. yep. Okay, uh, Domingus, go. I do a full run to the south. Okay. Uh, Eric Lades, your go. I'm gonna do a free 10, uh, 10 meter move. Or actually, I'm gonna do my full 30. And then I'm gonna do a my free 10, because now I'm in rage again. Mm hmm. Uh, and then we're going to say, go away, Mr. Boogity Boo. We don't like you. <laughs> yeah, it's your team of uh, team of six. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, oh, so 26 D uh, D10. Oh, no. Oh, man. You know what? Plus 10, because they all ha actually they all have uh, the possibility shield. So that would technically be Wait, plus isn't that, isn't that 30, 36 D10? So oh, no. No, 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 the... no, no, I did. I added the plus ten on the the attack roll, so it's just twenty six d ten. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have a question. Can you fit reroll? Um... <laughs> Let's not Wait, tempt the fate. <laughs> oh, there's too many. Oh, there is. Oh no no no! There's not. There's twenty six. For some reason, uh, one of those D tens, uh, like just that oh, ten didn't that, populate yeah. until later. So there was at least one ten. That was a GM. Oh thing, yeah. Don't... Oh. Yeah. Oh okay. One sec. Yeah, he's not breaking the fourth wall. I'm, it, you can burn their fate points, add more degrees to success if you want. No, I meant like uh, burn, uh, spend a fate point to reroll a damage roll. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Then I'll say one was spent there too. Do I spin, uh, what, spin Well, you there, have a or... ten. You, you have a ten there, just so you know. Right, right. But there wasn't one. That's what I was saying. Like my sp... the GM yeah, was that just it. GM intervention or no? That was just yeah. a glitch, I think. Yo, was I, it like, I saw Yo, a ten. It... The the ten was already there. It, it I see it immediately after twenty roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. It, was slow, it was slow on your screen. Okay, cool. That that's what I was just making sure because for a good solid five seconds there just was no tens on my screen. But it if you saw it, cool. Then I don't have to re-roll or spin any fate points. So now I'm doing the next roll. Yeah. The next roll. 
<gasps> no! <laughs> I can, I can spend a fate point to reroll this one. Uh, and let me go ahead and start calculating my stuff while I do this. Oh, Although it's old. crazy that of two D26 uh, rolls, the first two were both 128 in damage. Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to say, that's statistically... Unlikely. Unlikely. Alright, so first reroll. Yeah, that's better. Okay, you'll, you'll negate that 135. Yep. But yeah, so 138. <laughs> if you one shot this, it'll be great. We're just silent and awe. It just keeps happening. By the way, I think this L did my damages with. No, I, I'm uh, calculating this as we speak. So am I. And so far, I'm uh, on uh, yeah. 100, uh, 1,600. Right. Yeah. You can only. Yeah, I was gonna say you can do the fate point one time to re-roll. Otherwise, you could just auto cheese. So when it ends, it ends. I'm okay with that. Right. Just letting you know, making you aware. Yeah. Turns out he destroys the entire goddamn ship. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we didn't need them out the bombs, guys. Guys. <laughs> Watch them summon a goddamn demon prince afterwards. <laughs> this might actually be, uh, might be game for the monster. <laughs> well, hold on. Hold on. I'm at 3,334 right now. Four, 3,474. Hold on. I'm at 3,000 now, 484. God damn it. Hold on. Uh, I've been adding every time I roll it, so. Three, uh, oh. fucking hell. It's 3,800 and 0, 0, 0,1. Uh, remember, one of those didn't count because I had yes. to re-roll it. Yes, I know. Okay, yeah, you may have added another one, that, but whatever. All right, we're... <laughs> it will be vaguely similar <laughs> in the end. Well, basically, it's going to be like one of these damage rolls off in difference. There, there, it is. Five, there it is. There it is. So 4,130? 4,270 4, for me. Uh, what's the damage, uh, Yamug? Uh, 4,130. Fine, 4,130? Yep. So half itself. No, 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 more than half. It's, it looks oh. badly beat. They had 5k. Oh, they uh, had... and... Oh. They don't need to go at the all the void weapons, because they could probably dodge everything. It's just... Well, Too I would... bad this is not like Dragon Ball Z style. Yeah, you can. Like not yeah, over you... nine thousand. Yeah, you can apply <laughs> some of the damage to the destroyed weapons. So when I took that twelve damage, would it have been just like just twelve, no pin or anything, or what? Thirty pin. It's still okay. 30. Cool. Still... All right. Uh, then no, I'm not destroying any of his weapons. Because <laughs> it might wipe you out. Exactly. It's hurting bad. You can tell this. Uh, your guys can sense that this thing is very diminished. You could try. Wait. Uh, does casting take uh, your full turn? All right. So here's where all the bad rolls come in. Oh no. Yep. Far, all right. Far, wait. How far away are we? You're far enough. You're fine. It's a hundred meters. Ain't. Oh, well, actually, I don't know. Let's see how far away. Guide me to my guide. Guide me. Oh yeah, you're 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 what you're well without you're you're fine. You would not be okay. hit by any void weapon explosions. That's Moth right. might, but barely, but barely. Moth <laughs> might. Let's see. Nope, he's just out of range. Okay, this one is everyone within forty ten meters. Uh, has to make uh a hard will power test or just gain corruption. And you said I'm not tracking corruption on these guys, so. Nope. Does nothing. Cool. How uh, many meters you said? Four D ten. 
Oh, I'm well out of range. Though. Yeah, you're you're fine. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. Uh, a violent burst of energy from the warp. He suffers 1d5 wounds. Oh, no. Oh, but he's stunned for 1d5 rounds. Fuck. That sucks. That's, yep. I'm just going to do a 1d10 and divide it by 2. Cool. So he ta he's stunned for 5 rounds. Cool. Uh, and uh, he takes 1d5 damage. I'll just divide this by two, so he takes uh, four damage. Okay. You know, you can type the roll out for a 1d5. I could, but just dividing by two is just as easy. Yep. I'm fine with that. Uh, all right, that was the first two bad rolls. Now a 24 on the normal chart. Ooh, a haunting breeze again. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. And now third bad roll. Fifty-eight. I think it's the same thing. No, vice versa. Oh god. The psyker's mind is thrown out of his body and into another nearby creature or person. Oh. oh. Uh -oh. The only nearby creature would be the entity in front of you. The Psyker and a random being within 50 meters of him. Oh, note nope, that this, this cannot, cannot be, be a demon, demon untouchable, untouchable, or other, or other soulless creature. creature. Uh, so, they swap consciousness for 1d10 rounds. Uh, he does it with one of your space wings, then. <laughs> no, like, oh, no! Oh. They probably don't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, huh, I've moved over here. All right, whatever. <laughs> I don't remember stepping three feet to the left. Oh, well. No, oh, better it happens. <laughs> Okay, uh, sweet. So that was that. Uh, 54 on the It's Okay chart. Uh, warp Ghosts. Ghostly apparitions fill the air with uh, for 3d10 meters uh, of the Psyker flying around and howling the pain for a brief moment. Everyone within this area must test against fear. Great. Okay. Do it. Six <sighs> right. Does the demon have even have fear? Uh, because this is a warp power... And we were all blessed. You would yes. have resistance because it's a psychic power. Yeah, so that's a, a, a that was twenty, right? Thirty. Oh, thirty. Mm -hmm. Sweet. No, it it doesn't have fear. It's immune to fear. It's a thing. It's a thing. Gotcha. It's a thing. It's, a, it's a fearless. And one guy is stunned, so he doesn't have to make it. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, Any more rolls? Yeah, I, I've got some more. Uh, that was 54. Yep. So now is 70. And this will be the last one. Uh, which is Tetscorn. <laughs> hmm, how appropriate. Mm -hmm. The machine spirits reject your psyker's unnatural ways. All unwarded tech devices within 5d10 meters of the psyker malfunction momentarily. And all ranged weapons within this area jam. Hey, guess what's not an unwarded tech thing? What? Unwarded tech. Boy the demon that we're facing. Space. Oh. Yeah, so all its weapons jam. Okay. Cool. All its weapons jam. Do your force stays also? Well, I don't think they would. Uh, they would probably be warded. I'm gonna speak wrong. All right. Uh, they're librarians. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, of, of all the things they're carrying. No, They're you're forced. all you're fully warded. Um, because you're built all, specifically uh, to deal with these guys. Yeah, all war detect devices uh, within five to ten meters of them. Uh, uh, malfunction momentarily. All ranged weapons are jammed. Characters with neuric implants must pass a routine plus ten toughness check or suffer one d five damage. You know what? Make him make that. <laughs> you make what? him make that toughness chest. He gets plus ten to the roll. Okay. He'll he'll do it. Let's see how tough this guy really is. Yeah. Oh, he's not fell. really <laughs> tough. How much how much damage? Uh, three. Woo. Oh. oh, okay. So get wrecked. Yeah. 
Whoa. <laughs> three more damage you had before. Well, I mean, this is damage that bypasses armor and toughness, so. Right. It's it's damage. <laughs> he didn't have much armor. He's, he's well, like everyone in Fedra. He has put any anywhere else. All right. Uh, that was that was them. That was all their rolls. Yep, we're sorry. And all of his guns are jammed for the next round. That helped you. Yep. Actually, they're jammed until he unjams them. Right. I don't know how he's going to unjam them, but he has to uh, spend his actions unjamming the weapons. Yeah, full action that he can unjam all of them. Does he need cool. to like? Does he, that, need to, a, a one, huh? does he need to pour like strawberry jam to unjam them or something? <laughs> no, he, he, him, the young monk's character, he just see the guns would sink in his head, and then a few seconds later, more guns pop out. That's what he probably visualized and see. All right, so the door in front of me was uh, still locked and closed, and got tentacles on it, and whatnot. Uh, it's very faded. You don't even see the corruption as much anymore. In fact, all those tentacles. Let me do something real quick. That hole you guys made earlier. Boop. Oh, I can see you. Aha. So that hole, you see all the tentacles are kind of like just crumbling away and fading. So you can see into that room. Nice. And you do see those guards again. Here's a better question. The people arming the heavy bolters over on the other side, they can see those guys, can't they? Yeah, they're shooting right now. You just hear... Da, 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 da. No, he doesn't hear. I can't, yeah, he's I, deafened. I can't oh, that's hear. right, you're deafened. Never mind. He's deafened for, ten, for uh, eight rounds. Uh, or was it ten? Now. Yeah, 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 seven now. Do I see Bolter Blast coming through, I guess is what I should say. Yes. I okay. imagine you gave, you gave the those bolters heavy hold the holy am ammunition. Oh yeah, they had holy ammo. Yeah. Okay. As I move twenty and start opening fire on the uh, dudes on the other side of the doorway, then. Okay. Is a full move of your jetpacks further than twenty? Uh, full move with the jetpack is twenty. Full move otherwise. Is okay. 20. Gotcha. I'm a human. I'm slow. Your speed is exactly the same as ours. I'm slower than my medic. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh... Okay, do your damage. Uh, let's see, what is that? One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just tell me how many, how many. Eight got. plus six, so uh, five. No, fourteen shots. Eight, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so all the marines are dead. So then, and that was six. So six of those first, first your shots through. How much damage do, do you do? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's seventeen the first shot. And then 18, minus 18, and then minus 12. This one's dead. Dead. What's the range of those guns? Oh, uh, 135 meters total. Oh, uh, okay, so you can still... Accurately. So after that 12, yeah, the next... Next one's dead. You said 135 meters accurate? Oh, yeah. Is this. Uh, no. Anything past like 100 dead. doesn't have any bonuses applied to it. Yep, dead. And one more. Okay. That's it. That's my turn. Yeah, Neil Tyron is going to go. He's going to move. Yeah. And then it's Entity's turn. It's going to spend its turn on jabbing its weapons. 
and it's going to walk up to one of your guys. Actually, all your guys. Actually, no. That, well, I can't. Yeah, this thing can't move. Either. It's taking full action to unjab those things. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so Brasora, you're about to be attacked. Are you within? Yeah, you're within 60. So. And those two are coming at you, Moth. Alrighty. Uh, da -da -da -da. Does this count as a natural weapon? Yes. It has a minus 10 to hit. And they both still hit. They both still yeah, hit. Yeah, okay. Just, just remind me. Because I totally forgot about that. Nope, you're good. Can I make multiple dodges in one turn? Technically, no. No. Then the fate point, I'll allow it. Cool. Don't worry, we got 15 of them. I'm going to need a bit more than 15. Okay, well, here's one. It won't and die. here's and here's for the second one. Okay, here's, here's another one. There you go. There we go. Yeah, How many burn. did you burn already? I'm uh, down to twelve. Okay. Carnot, go. Will yeah, I move yay. That's it in my turn. Got all those turns. Genghis, go. Dude. Dude. All right. Yeah. You go. Oh, yes. I do a full run. Yes. And this be Eric Clades, and this might be the end of that monster. Uh, do we need to go further south or yep. east? So no. We're in still on the east. Yeah, still east. Yep, yep. You're just going down the hallways into the reactor room. The reactor room is beyond that door. This door right here. Yep. Okay. That's uh, this door right here that uh, everyone's in front of. Eric oh, Clayton. it's a door. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a door. Hard to tell if there's a door or not. Yeah, it is. It's just like a wall uh, to the, us. I'm, yeah, I made the I made the dark a little bit bigger. It's a door. Okay. And I'm assuming your guys are about uh, to go kick ass. Uh, I want to roll, use a fake point on this, just to try and get something better. Okay, I'll do it once. Go for it. Well, this is the attack roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why. Go for it. That's better. Okay, cool. Do your damage. Once you get past 300, it's dead. Okay, cool. And it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It. it really only had 300 left? Ugh. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. But now I got to roll on the uh, the bad things happen chart. Yeah, you do. Oh, no. All right, well, let's see what the really bad just thing is. Really bad thing. So. No, no, it, oh, it could be fine. Not that it's bad. It's just a nine. Yeah. Uh, a nine is. Oh, Sportburn again. He's also stunned. <laughs> for uh, two rounds. And he took one damage. Okay, now for all the, uh, the lesser stuff. Uh, six. There's a god awful smell. Uh, 21. Food and drink go bad. 
Whoa. Uh, 13. Uh, there's a lot of frost everywhere. Um, 51. This one's actually bad. Uh, actually, this one's just fine. Stack electricity fills the air, uh, causing hair to stand on end, and unprotected electric, uh, electric short out, and that side here is illuminated with Eldritch Light. Uh, and nine is that guy gets one insanity point, and that's it. Yep. And all around, after you defeat this amorphous blob of weapons, blood, and guts, you just see all those other mechanical creatures just collapse, and disappear. Yay! Well, they all got taken out with void weapons, but yay! Well, there's more coming spawning in. You you had like two more rounds till the other ones spawned in. Oh, okay. What about the ooze? Ooze is still there. Ugh, okay. All right, so that was not the warp entity itself. That was just a an avatar. It was a critter demon. I mean, if it was a demon. It looked like a demon, to be honest. <laughs> He's been classifying all these things as not demons. Not well, demons. A greater it's warp deep. entity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That, that. Although I would but I, beg to guys, ask, what the hell is the difference between the thing of the warp that isn't the demon and is? It's not a line. Oh, prime mark. <laughs> mark. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, Eric Clazies, you that was your turn, Brasora, yeah. go. Oh shit, we're already back to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh... I think Eric Clazies did all his things. He did his thing. Killed the killed the. Whatever that was. Oh man, that one's dead too. So, oop. But that should buy you a little more breathing room now. You feel a little more fresher breath air there, Gale Mug. Well, I mean, the squad didn't die, which is amazing, honestly. I thought they would. I mean, three rounds of uh, unfettered spell casting. I have. It's amazing. None of them are dead yet. Well, there's just a bunch of wind going around, so they do have fresh air. It smells god awful though. True. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, are you making your way back to the. Can we get closer to the ooze or further uh, away from the ooze? Further away from the ooze. I was rewinding the thing so I could move to a different position. So okay. I'm not taking heavy bolter fire. Just in case they decide to keep oh. shooting down this hallway. No. But you do see, when you do. Walk over there, and you're looking. Yeah, I'm sure you mean you're looking down, looking at these guys. You guys just see like, looks like tentacles falling off these guys' heads, and then screaming in agony. And their weapons are on the ground. Okay, uh, Neil Tyron goes. He opens the door. And that warp entity is not there, so ignore that one. Karnoff, go. All right, I charge headlong into the. Oh, actually, cannot see inside the room. It's pitch black for me. Really? There's another door. Shouldn't be. Like I don't have the flashlight type of. Oh, there you go. I can see it now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the yep, the void, the the that thing that was suppressing your guys' night vision is gone, so you guys can see now. Okay. Uh, is that the goop? Yep, it is a. You see that goo pile on the ground. You, you have any more movement to move in? Yeah, I do. I, I can move up to the goop. Uh, okay. uh, let's see what's. Oh, sorry. Uh, yep. Is that the thing in the middle of a goop? Uh, yep. Okay. It is. It looks like a big pulsating brain too. Okay, sorry. Ground. Sorry. Let's see how and much. It, uh, actually, I can actually it, move. And you see it, like oozing. Green, too. Okay, so that's thirty. That's sixty. Oh wait, sorry. God damn it. Oh, that's not wise, but sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just looking at my movement. Exactly. Okay, one twenty. So if I do it from here, I'm just trying to use the new uh, thing where if you hold the token and you hold right click, it shows the movement. All right. Uh. I'm going to use my jetpack, and I'm going to descend on top of that goop and plunge my sword into it. 
Go for it. You have that much movement? Man, you're, that's awesome. Uh, what else? Actually, like 890. I mean, attack? Yeah. Well, actually, can I? Attack? Oh, wait, no, I cannot do that. No, if, if, if I want to attack, it would be 70. I cannot do that. Sorry. Uh, in okay. that case, I would just stand here and not move in. And you gotta. Uh, just, I would just waste my turn. Okay, uh, the mangas go. Alright. You could frenzy. I mean, it's like one dude in there. I mean. Oh. Yeah. Well, that one dude nearly killed you all. <laughs> that Wait, is it a free move to be at the door? And how far is that? So we can shoot this thing, right? Yep, you just see a big pulsating brain just like secreting green shit into the ground. And that's just like psychic crap, right? Possibly. You don't know what it is. Just like a big old brain attached to the ship. Well, I guess uh, addendum. Uh, if you're going to uh, move in, I'm going to stand right in front of you to act as cover. So that will be my turn. I'll just be slightly inside. <laughs> okay. Well, I was thinking of just shooting right at it. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, modifier? Uh, minus 20. It's kind of hard to aim at this thing. It's like... It brings things Possibility good. shield. Yeah. It'll be minus oh. 20. Because remember, I, it's bulky for me. Or I don't know how to use exotic weapons, so it's always minus 20. Well, sure. Then so it's, another it's going to be minus, minus 20. 20. Another minus 20 for that thing. Well, if it's if I use the psychic thing. It's also ginormous. It's, I think it's like what? Uh, it's not hulking. It's uh, it's like one class above it, so that's plus 20. Yep. Uh, so it's plus 20 or zero? Or is it uh, negative 20 or zero? Minus 20. Minus 20. Hell yeah. Got one hit. <laughs> yeah. And do your damage. You just see it explode. And the way it exploded, it's just the gusts were shaped like a mushroom cloud. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you just see all that, that uh, living ground just dissip dissipate. All that stuff that was causing you guys so much trouble. Dissipate and fade back to reality. I'm, I'm tempted to say Zerg goo. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I can do. Okay. Cool. And it's going to be Eric Clayton. Oh, yeah, Eric Clayton's. Go, Eric Clayton's. If you are speaking, you are silent. I wasn't. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, that's my move. And then my live range are just going to fucking chill. <laughs> nice. Sora, go. And that's my turn. Yeah, Tyron's gonna move. That's his turn. Karnoff, go. Don't forget the extra free 10 he would have gotten at the beginning, so he should have been able to move an extra 10 feet, or meters. I'll just move up to that crate. There's a star, there's a thing above. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Dominguez, go. Okay. Where, where's my character? Okay. So where's the reactor for me? Like here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Top. Okay. You see, you see that thing coiled around it? There's like a huge demon what thing, thing around it. Well, if you move up close enough, you'll see it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna do a full run. Still don't know what thing you're talking. Wait, 
You'll see it. Actually, I only see this little bit and the blue thing. Yeah, the bit is is much bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out next round. So, Eric Clady? Yeah, Eric Clady. Go. Actually, wait, wait. I do have plus sixteen, don't I? You're forgetting about that. Yeah, you do. You can move up to me. There you go. Nice, see the big boy. It's a basilisk. <laughs> it is a worm-like creature, like you're saying. It looks almost like that. You just see it pulsating. A piercing, piercing green eyes looking right at you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> not oh, great work, oh, XD. Any, like, we other bearing melta bomb gifts. Please accept them. Right. <laughs> yeah. You don't see any more <laughs> weaponry like the, everything else you've been fighting. That seems to be gone. This thing. I think, seems... I think now is the optimal time to use that amulet. When it's my turn next, that's not my entire turn. Right yeah. Now, so. Um. You know, I'm just gonna take cover right here. Then just move it right here. <laughs> There we go. Okay. So you're gonna. So yeah, it's your turn right after him, then, or after the main guest. Yeah, five. So go, Eric, ladies. No, I just spent my full move to get up here, so oh, it's okay. uh, uh, uh turn go. Yeah, Rosora, go. Oh. Have a party. So you're back behind the lines. You just see yep. them like uh, peering down and just like uh, hunker down, like they've been through the been through the ringer just now. <laughs> like they've seen some shit. Uh, Neil Tyron, he moves, runs all over here to cover. They think they've seen some shit. I've seen that psychic group annihilate giant hulking entities twice. Right. Karnoff, go. Yeah, uh, they're going to spend a long time in solitude and repentance for uh, the shit that they've done and seen. Yeah. Do you think it's wise to attack it, Brother Eurycleides? Us, I mean, and not you with your shenanigans. I would say hold it back until I throw a thing at it, and then we'll see what happens later. Can I delay my action by any, like, I think there is a thing where I can delay. Let's see. Delay well, action. Well, in most games, you can, like, permanently delay your turn until after someone else's turn. So you permanently move your uh, position in order. Or it's you're just preparing a half action. Oh, preparing half action. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll actually move. Yeah, I'll I'll, pre I'll permanently move myself under your under you. So I'll, I'll just move myself to like four or something. Cool. <clears throat> Dominigo. I'm just gonna Action. take over right here. Oh, those things got fancy eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. These piercing green eyes just. just uh staring at you coldly, you know it it freaking hates you. <laughs> well I am in I should be in full cover behind these barrels, so <clears throat> Alright, All right. I already went, so Okay. Hi, Eric Ladies go. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here. Uh and then I'm going to put all of my willpower into that shard to overcharge the shit out of it. And throw it at this thing. Alrighty. Are you prepared? Sure. <laughs> My butt is ready to clinch. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm hoping this thing isn't like the last thing we had in the last campaign. So what would you like me to do? Strength check to toss it at it. And you're doing aim, aim shine at it? Uh, Sure, yeah. So what are my modifiers to this? It is fucking huge. Plus 60. 
uh, plus the aim for another 10, uh, plus uh, 10 for my possibility shield. So, yeah, I hit it. Okay. Directly where I need it to go. So, it deals 4,505 damage against it. Mm. Oh my god, it, it almost maxed that roll. Almost. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, it surpassed the previous roll, to be honest. Well, this is officially... Uh, this uh, The amulet that's been cracked, I overcharged it and threw it at the thing, and just dealt 4,505 damage. It looks extremely pissed. It's looked, And it looks very hurt, whatever you just did. Like, there's it's missing limbs, half his body, but it's still in this realm. Hey. Okay. All right. Oh, now yeah. charge it. Uh, so yeah, sure, it, it, it's supposed to be my turn because like I moved myself down in oh, order. Oh yeah, yeah, go go go. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm out of combat order. You can just skip me now. Okay, I'll delete you because I'm back with the barricade. Yeah, that. So yeah, I'm just gonna spend a whole turn just frenzying. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I'll take. You know, I'm gonna be spending my next turn doing the same thing. <laughs> oh no. Uh... Psychic frenzying, that's bad. I have the trait that I can maintain my uh, willpower and I can do psychic powers oh. while frenzying. Hell yeah. yeah. I still have to charge and, you know, do stuff against that guy, but I can throw psychic powers at stuff while I'm doing it. Right. I hope you survive. It still has a decent fair amount of it. Yeah, so Probably over 500. I charged myself Probably up. just a few shots of Void Horror Rifle. <laughs> yeah. Just a few. <laughs> just a couple of shots. Okay. Uh, so what are we doing, Karnoff? Uh, I, sp I spend the turn in Frenzing. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Mingus, go. I fire the beast with a Void Horror Rifle. Okay. Modifier? Uh... It's fucking gigantic. Yeah, I don't know if I can consider that half range. I mean, okay. Well, you. Well, I mean, you get plus sixty because it's ginormous. It's wrapped around the reactor. So plus sixty. Mm -hmm. Then minus twenty for no mm -hmm. exotic training. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, you Got him. All right. Just give me the damage total. Was that? And two two zero two hundred twenty. Okay, so it seems to be materializing more in the realm, and seems to enjoyed what you just did. So more than four rifles, no go then. You see that it enjoyed what you just did. So you now... killed it. Nice. Yes, and it's looking at you with delight. I'm confused. What does that mean? That means you healed it. Yes. A lot. Yes. Uh, Eric, ladies, go. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to spend my round um, frenzying. Okay. Which does mean that I dropped the possibility shield. I think you should update the turn order. It's a bit a bit fucky wacky, I think. It is. Well, okay. Okay. Uh Turn off. Oh I Charge. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give it a zero initiative. Yeah. Uh, uh I realized it didn't go. I was like, that's right, I delete the other monster. But yeah, Karnoff, go. <laughs> oh, okay. Me. It's uh, okay, it doesn't have to go. <laughs> oh it, it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, you got all your little free hits on it. 30, 40, 30. Can it? No, okay. I'm gonna use my jetpack, <clears throat> jump back to get to it. And start hammering at one of its toenails. Okay. Which is a hit. Okay, do your damage. And that also means. 
get let me Wait, get... does that mean he's a masochist? Wait, hold on. And it took pleasure of pain. It That's... took pleasure with your void void horror we we your weapon there. Yes. Oh no, void weapon seal him. Yes. yes. Void weapon seal him. Oh. Wait, uh diff from above. Hold on. I have a talent. Which is a salt marines well it's not a salt marine specific, but it's for Marines who have the jump back blah, 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 when the makes a charge. And so extra for two. Okay, yeah. So let's go death from above. A space marine descending into battle on trails of fire is a true angel of death. Blah, blah, blah. When the battle brother makes a charge action using a jump back, his melee attack deals an extra d10 uh, damage for every two degrees of success to a maximum bonus of 2d10. 2D since I have 5 degrees of success, I add additional 2d10s to my damage. So that will be 43 damage. God damn. <laughs> right. It does not like what you're doing. Uh, it's a, a pen of 10 as well, by the way. Pen of 10. Uh, let's see. Actually, pen of 10. Mm hmm. Where does it hit? Like uh, three, five. Let's see. That is body. Body. It has fifty body, so it's, it bounces off it. But it has fifty body. Well, actually, I, uh, if it has fifty, uh, then uh, oh wait, no, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Say it has fifty toughness. Not not toughness on his body, the armor, armor stuff, arm arm oh. between armor and toughness. And my turn. Fifty. What? What? There are no weapons to get through them. Well, technically, if I try hard enough, maybe I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's its turn. Wait, no, no, wait, I should do three damage to it, I think. Oh, okay, so minus three. <laughs> minus three. There you go. Oh, and it, it's Jesus. turn. So... Yeah, after it killed 220 from the Void Rifle, minus three from that healing. Yeah, that helped. <laughs> Hold up. No, no, no. Uh, it's just one. Ignore the first one. Uh, the second one. Okay. That's gonna hit you for 47. Can I attack I don't think I no, can parry that. Oh, you can't parry? Yeah, no. It's ginormous. This is whole tail. Uh, I should be able to dodge. You do an agility thing, because there's a, a special ability. Uh... If you fail your agility, you're prone. I succeed. And then, and, and then, the, and you drop your weapon. They're entangled, and must win a strength challenge check to hmm. be freed. Mm -hmm. But he succeeded. Oh, you dodged. Yeah, yeah, you can dodge it. But it's just so massive. So cool. Uh, Neil Tyron goes. Let's see what he got. <laughs> you have the holy book around, don't you? He has the psych yes. Yeah, the yeah, psych yeah. around. That's probably the only thing you're going to get through with that there, yell mug. It's you a good thing that. a guy with a heavy bolter has a heavy bolter with a bunch of psych cannon rounds in it, too. What did he make? Why is he making three attacks? Oh, sorry, what are you I doing? Do, sorry, I meant to do damage to do, rolls. Sorry. If you want, I could take over Tyron for now, since my other characters. Uh, if he's not firing anything. full auto, he should make uh, four attacks. So that's one more attack. I'll give it to you, Moth. Here you go. I, I need want. to remember what. Psych there you go, Moth. It's double the die roll. Yep. And it ignores all armor and toughness. Yep. So yeah, you're gonna black. That, then that's my only thing I could do. Yep. Do not shoot with void weapon me, because it loves that. Mm, clap it up. So that's what, thirty. So twenty-two and five is twenty-six for the first one. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
25 for the second one. And uh, that's 28 plus 5, 33 for the third one. And there needs to be one more. Okay. Moth, go. Do it. Yay! <laughs> so that's uh, 40. Yeah, just give me all the damage totals when you're done. And a Righteous Fury, so he can attack Do it again. again. Do it again, Moth. Do it again. Uh, yeah, this counts as auto-confirmed still, right? No, because it's not to Xenos. Oh, what was the bonus to hit? Uh, it should be like plus 40, at least. You just hit, so. You just hit. Yeah, just, just do it again. Alright, so that's 25. So he said 26 plus 20. Oh, I'm not doing this math again. <laughs> <laughs> That's 40. I'm just going to have my calculator ready just in case. <laughs> 45. Okay. Cool. It looks pissed off. <clears throat> Demangus, go. All right. I use the heavy bolter. With the side rounds in there, what's okay. the base base chance? To hit? Plus forty, 60. I think. Yeah, plus sixty yeah, or 60 something. Plus forty. That's hundred. Yeah, that's hundred. Wow. Damn. Is your thing Zero. accurate? Yeah. Okay then. Nice. Uh, Wait, no. Roll the 97. Oh my god. Not accurate. Uh, reliable, I meant to say. Sorry. I, I need to double check. It is reliable. Uh, if it jams, roll 1d10. We have plenty of. Uh... Yeah, we got at least uh, 11 more uh, faith. Yeah, fate points. No, I yeah, might just be better just to fate point it. Yeah, let's just I mean, fate point it. One to ten is like it, it will jam only on the ten if it, you roll one to ten. So it's like it, you don't really need to spend the. Fate I don't want to re-roll it to get a higher hit because that's about eight shot hits. Kind of want to get a higher. Can we get? Plus you get an extra shot? plus ten for the re-roll. Plus ten. That's hundred and ten. All right. Hundred and ten. Yeah. There we go. It's only 16 shots. Only 16. Oh no, it's maximum of 10 shots actually. The rate of fire is 10. Yeah. Righteous Fury. Yeah, Righteous Fury is as well. Because oh, you can't wrong miss. Button. Wrong button. <laughs> and just give me your damage total. Right. Uh, okay, Righteous well. Fury. Well, if you would have used the fucking macro, then it would have been much easier. Damn. <laughs> yeah, because you forgot to uh, do the, the rending for all of these. Are the tearing for all of these? Just copy paste the thing I gave you, and then just use the ability. Which one? You, you gave me a couple. Ah, uh, sorry. I gave you. Uh, the the latest in the in the file, which was like the, the latest and greatest. The latest one, which was like the huge ass roll. Yeah, just... I see. Uh, should I just copy paste in the message, or is that the ability? Uh, copy paste or... the whole message. Uh, into the ability, yes. And uh, number of hits and number of hits displayed should be the same. <clears throat> There's a way to tweak that to be more user friendly. I'll do that for the next yeah. session. So that's total two fifty two, and then we want to times it by two, right? No. Double so it doubles just the die roll, not the bonuses added to it. Oh, that's a lot more work. Yeah. So that's that's why if you roll the uh, the macro, you'll get the uh, the actual result. If I is it okay if I just use it? Yep. Go for it. It was easier. Number oh, that's a nice input value. Whoa, that should be ten. 
Yeah, it's kind of a hacky way to do that, but like, yeah. Number of hits, ten. Submit. Display number of hits. Same. Ten. Yeah. Penetration. That's that's for if you're using normal rounds. Normal. So it'll be normal. Uh, and if you expand the chat window to the left, you will see all the rows in a nice line. That's super nice. So, so minus two ninety. So nine. That's eighteen plus fifteen. Boop boop. Uh, 16, so that's 32 plus 15. Uh, might be dead. Okay, 40 plus 15, so 55. Uh, 6 and 5 is 11, so 22 plus 15. Uh, 10, so 20 plus 15, so 35. Uh, 17, so that's uh, 34 plus 15. Uh, 8 and 9 is 17. God, what is... You know, whatever that is, plus 15. Uh, I got 305 so far. Uh, and then 16 times 2, so that's 32 plus 15. Uh, 15, so that's 30 plus 15, so that's 45. And then 11, so 22 and 15. Uh, so that's 434 with just that, but then he's got 1, 2, 3, 4 more Righteous Furies, but you're always going to hit, so just do 4 more damage rolls. Four more damage rolls. Okay, I'm gonna use the yeah. You use the macro again. Yeah. It looks extremely hurt as you're gunning this down. Fifty-seven more damage and it's dead. Shouldn't it be one? Oh, it's most likely gonna happen. Shouldn't it be yeah. one <laughs> damage roll for like even if it's like ten shots, it should be like still one extra roll. Yeah. Oh, well, he just did forty-nine with the first shot. Yeah, just go ahead and describe how you killed this thing. Cause it's super dead, or not dead, but vanquished vanquished so yeah, it kind of just disappears out of nowhere yeah as you're blasting it you kind of see it kind of dissolve and just fade into the warp and the Heracles can, can sense that it's completely gone from this realm it turns into a warlock oh no <laughs> alright let me let me describe it I hone in my skills for the one last time, as I know that this once this beast goes away, everything gets better. I hone in and slam everything I got against this beast. And every round hits the beast, that area just disappears. And with that, so... it is gone. Are you going to inform the Inquisitor before he slams the ship into you guys of your success? Yes. Well, nah, I just want to do it. Is it, it's all nah. gone. Is it all gone? Yeah. So that we defeated the entity. Yeah. All the warp paint you saw is gone. Is di dissipated around you guys. The, right. the entire ship feels a bit lighter. Still tainted by its presence. I'm just but... screaming right now at the top of my lungs. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I'm screaming I back at the, you for screaming back at me. I contact. We scream the, at each other. I contact the Inquisitor. The deed has is done. The entity is gone. <laughs> and then we can hear, we can hear the, in the background of everyone just screaming. <laughs> in the radio chat. Stop shouting. <laughs> I must get to hit something. I find a random trait and just smack it with my staff. I hate the reactor of this thing enveloped. 
Thankfully, I have the trait where I don't lose my sanity while frenzying. <laughs> well, so I, mean, I don't hit the reactor. It's just a with pipe. My force stick. It's just like a pipe, which is like it doesn't really do much. It's just a pipe. I, I mean, it could be the vital thing keeping that thing stable. You don't know what that pipe does. Well, I guess we'll find out. Well. <laughs> So we almost made it off the ship alive, but due to frenzy, uh, we blew ourselves up. Classic. Classic. Yeah, but no, I have better rage, so I'm more of a... Like, Karnoff, for real though, he would not scream, I think. He would just be very quiet. Quieter well, than usual. We'll, we'll head to the bridge and try to use this ship. Understood. Destroy the remaining Eldar, sh Eldar ship. We weren't able to make it to your location. The Eldar ship disabled there's us. No crew on the, there's no crew to man this ship. It's a Hulk now. Well, can't we go to the bridge and activate the engine? You, you can. You gonna go to the bridge? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well. Okay. Uh, can I get there from where I'm at? Uh, uh, can, can, can we just have Nilt's eyes, uh, Tyron, mine the reactor anyway, just in case? Yeah, he'll spend his time doing that, setting up uh, explosives around it, because it's warp chain and needs to be destroyed anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but we might want to use well, it May as well use time. it as a ram to take out that elder ship while if we're If we can it. use the engines, then we will ram them. If we can use the weapons, even, even Hell. at degraded... Hell, why not all at once? I doubt we can use the weapons. I doubt they're automated. It's probably people manning turrets. Are they? No, sorry. Yeah. If it's Imperium, then yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The Imperium the, there's no artificial intelligences weapons. that exist. There's, okay. there's no computer program. Yeah. Well, if we can ram them, then we should ram them. Yeah, ram them and then blow the ship up. That'll do. That'll do some damage. That'll do. Bridge was south, right? It was in the middle. In the middle. It was basically from where we south. came. Oh, um, can we get the tech marine to deactivate all its um, boarding protocols so we can actually go through to the sure. bridge? Oh. Well, yeah, as you're going through the ship, you notice these, these blaster doors uh, just open up now. It was the entity closing these things on you guys. There's still a door blocking your path. Yeah. I'm gonna stay with the deck marine and look at the shiny explosives he's placing. <laughs> Don't touch it. It's not gonna go well. Karnov's hands <laughs> yeah. raises oh, yeah. slightly. The door. Yeah, you're also the other side of the door to make it. You can literally hit the button. Boop. I'm sure you hit the next one and you hit the next one. Well, hey, how's how's it going? What did I miss here? <laughs> I just slowly walk back. <laughs> I'm assuming they are a little bit crazy, you know, the howling and the noise and the wind in there. Like you sense very psychic, heavy shit in there. And you're not. Well, I mean, by the time by the time he got back over there, all that would have been done. Yeah, but, still, but can... they're they're still reeling from you know having fought a greater warp entity <laughs> and survived. How intact will that remains to be seen? Oh, uh, let me find out. Well, that can be like a downtime thing. Yeah. Like we we can put that out later. Yeah. As I'm trying to head to the bridge, I remind myself why do we. Fine. Why do we have these big of ships? Oh. Can't get anywhere when I need to go. <laughs> Things are miles long, yeah. Yeah. I, I have no idea where to go for the bridge. I'm just, can we just say we go there without having to Yeah, it's over here. So, uh, I'm, almost, I'm almost there. I remember the pings of the reactor bridge and then something, the warp core in the, uh, in the center. Yeah. Yep. So, is there anything blocking your vision there? Yeah. Oh, what? What the? I can go Why through. The door open? What? Uh, is this part of the ship missing or something? 
Yeah, there's no. just like a big white splotch in a couple places. Yeah. I'm done looking at explosives, I'll go to the bridge. Okay. No, but the dynamic lighting is not working like it's supposed to. Or I can remove that. There you go. Maybe that did it. Why at the rock location that's on the bridge? Yep. So I see a guardsman right here? Yep. You kind of just see him um, pushing buttons. And it looks like he's setting something up. Shoot him! Shoot him in the head! Is it our um, guardsman, or is it no, no. <laughs> every every guardsman that's on the ship, you definitely know, is not. <laughs> no, like our, our spy. I mean, no. I go straight at it and just punch it. Punch oh, okay. him down. Uh, I don't yeah, have a punching. I don't uh, think I have uh, a punch uh, thing. Yeah, it's... well, his head explodes. His head explodes. Okay. On arm is one d ten uh, uh, damage, and that's and it. And you're at the main. Yeah, you're at the main well, bridge. Well, he, he was doing something, so I checked what he was trying to do. Okay. Is that tech use? Yeah. Modifier? Uh, plus 20. Uh, he's sabotaging the bridge. Send a bomb. Who would have guessed? I reported to the team and also tell back, hey, when you're done planting explosives in the reactor, we need probably want to disarm. We probably have four uh, bombs around the ship. The bridge most likely is full of bombs. Uh, and this, this is might probably not good. Be good. Yeah, and this is probably a good stopping point too. Yep. Yeah. Um, we kind of want the ship to blow up, so we're not going to be disarming anything. So that was an experience for the two big bosses, and oh then the encounter twelve seven hundred. I'm sorry. So what's the, what's the total? Seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. No, five hundred per boss. And then, yeah. Hey. I did not expect Yelma's squad to come out of that alive. <laughs> Neither did I. Neither did I. <laughs> How many? Um. I think what no. saved was the void weapon exploding on its face and killing everything in that room. Well, I, yeah, that and the uh, me forcing him to have to reload for a turn. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And, that makes... and making every single dodge roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mark great really... degrees of success, too. Because if, yeah. if any one of them failed, dead. Just a dead Marine. It's a dead. <laughs> yep. But of the eight librarians that went in, only one died. It's not that bad. It's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Plus me. That's why they call you. Call your team. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they just call us pretty good. We're not great. We're not amazing. We're just pretty good. We're North standard Cypher squad. We only do pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm sure that was a uh, breath of fresh air. I was like, eh, I could send the torture and let them fight through thousands of monsters. Oh, I would not have enjoyed another session of just making it 100 meters. <laughs> I know. I was thinking, I was like, I'm going to fuck with them. So the entity was reinforcing its positions against you guys. <laughs> Still failed. Yeah, I did. <laughs> It, I thought the acid would kill, uh, hurt one of you guys, or someone was gonna die. It did. That. Somebody got hurt. Well, I thought I was gonna, yeah. You just want chaos. Thank you. Thank you very that much. That was really yeah. chaos in, uh, session. <laughs> right. Well, but yeah, we were literally fighting more entities. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Were you guys expecting that booby trap? <laughs> that ambush? I think not. I don't the think ambush. So. No. <laughs> then when you're in the hallway, you get ambushed by that that the blob monster on the ship. 
was seeing as how it was completely different from everything else we had been uh, mm -hmm. encountering. Yeah, no, of course not. Mm -hmm. so, I was, so I was like, yeah, we'll throw in some blobs, amorphous blobs. Like, yeah, they might like that. Oh, you mean the thing that literally forced us to be in critical damage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That... Yeah, that stuff. Yeah. That stuff which would yeah, kill us I in two like turns. That. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I whole... didn't like that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty point. much the power scaling rat. You die in two turns, or you live to kill everything in one. Yeah. Right. I mean, come on. Now, uh, now in future missions, I fully expect not to have my squad of librarians with me. So no. there should be none of that shenanigans again. No, 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 no. That was that was for this situation here. So they'll be called off somewhere else. I mean, having 18 say, extra fate points that, was quite nice, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We still on, top of, on top of that, we kind of need to have some uh, recovery from all that damage. Yeah, we have, uh, yes, we have a magic. I'll be right back. Yeah, you can just stuff it out. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's also true. Well, the Eldar are about to board your vessel, or attack you guys at least. So, ain't over yet. I mean, the main mission is done. So you're in mission number four now. I was not keeping track of the missions we need to do. God damn. <laughs> or actually, no. They, you're still in the mission because the Eldar. So that's the only thing that left. The Eldar. Yeah, it was the same mission. Yeah, sorry. Never mind. You're right. Eldar was part of the mission. Help the fleet survive. There's one ship left. Which you didn't. Which there's didn't. nothing you could. There's nothing you could have done in that fight for those fights. They're fighting behind the scenes. So. There's still one ship left. We still had ten fate points we could have burned to save ships. <laughs> and we didn't do it. I don't think you would do that. I would have. I would have burned all my fate points to save my ship. Oh, I mean, your primary ship? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the one that blew up immediately on arrival? Yeah, I was toast. It, it, it failed. It got like a 99 on its roll to oh. get out of oh. it. Okay, so it literally rolled the worst it could have rolled. That's correct. Nice. Yeah, because I rolled three times. One for infiltrate, one for deployment, one for exfiltrate. It failed on the exfiltrate. It kind of failed on the deployment. That's henceforth the, the hangar doors were fucking up on you guys. And then it got a 99. So I was like, well, it's fucking dead. Oh my god. And no fate point would save it. I see. All right. But he got you there. He really did. As the captain said he would. That sucks. All you did all that work to cl cleanse your crew, and they all end up getting murdered. Yeah. At least hey, we, we cleansed out. them enough to make it to the fight. That's what mattered. Yeah, and yep. we weeded out the spy network. Because if we didn't, because if we didn't. We would have blown up the moment we warped in. Yeah, so basically yep. nothing much would have happened. Like nothing much. I happened. mean, well, no, the you guys. Well, we still left. would have been on the ship when it blew up because we would have yeah. blown up the moment it went to warp. Ah, we can duff it out. You all. We'll just throw a fake point. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. We're just oh, stuck okay. in the warp. It's it's fine. Yeah, I think in that situation, you guys would have had time to like, uh, get off the ship. But not I think, like I think in that situation it's just mostly us at this point going, okay, well this mission failed so far that we we just get shoved into a different game. <laughs> oh, we failed again, we're now in a different game. Yeah, we're just in a fight we, for life. We were the Death Watch, but now we're basically Grey Knights. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that should blow up. We well we're now in the warp, so I guess we're doing a Chaos Marine campaign now. <laughs> No, but that instance, uh, the, your ship would have definitely exploded, and with you with you all in it. So, but there would probably been some way to survive that catastrophe. Like you'd be fighting instead of fighting on the enemy vessel, you'd be fighting to get to to survive, I guess, on a very destroyed vessel. Yeah, pretty sure the Inquisition would just kill us at that point. They've been on two ships, two flagships, uh, and both have been destroyed the moment they leave, or tried to leave. There's something fishy about that particular team of Death Watch. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
So that'd be hmm. Karnoth, Dude, and who else? Moth, other character? Uh, uh, yeah, Zeal. Those, Zeal. Yeah. Those, those three guys would be executed, probably. And the uh, rest, Tyron. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah him too. He's yeah. probably the her- main leader of the heretic forces. Yeah. He does like spanking guardsmen to an unnatural degree. And yep. he does seem to possess this uh, aura of making things break or fail around him. Constantly. Yeah. Well, those rolls, man, that was brutal in that, that uh, him getting through that. So brutal. I was like, it's yeah, just like... I've, I've noticed that roll 20 just likes to just have a whole section of like above 90 rolls at a time. I was like, dude, it's only a minus three. I didn't, like, it acts like I threw a hellish score at him. Yeah. It's like, someone else get in there and look at it. Found it. There you go. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he was rolling, like, against the 20. I mean, yeah, he had, like, a kind of a low score. 35. 35 base, which is really hard to hit. I'm going to. Welcome back. But yeah, I guess that's a good stopping point. Yeah, yeah, I think it's actually a stopping point. You guys get to the bridge, assessing the situation that's about to unfold. The last leg of the mission. Yeah. The main portion of the mission is done. Yeah. And the last leg is dealing with that Eldar. The Eldar main flagship. That is really pissed off. You killed their only hope of not dealing with that flesh there. Or at least what it said it what it said to them, I guess. What your agent told you. That's all he knows. Yeah. Alright. Well until next time. Yeah. I'll right. talk to y'all later. See you next week. Yeah. Cheers.